I am a practicing emergency medicine physician. I work in this emergency room. Like all of us in this room, I believe that good design is good business. But I also believe that good design is good medicine. And we can make healthcare better by design. But healthcare, one of the largest industries on the planet, fails to recognize the importance of design. In healthcare, we don't have a technology problem. I, I really think we have a design problem. Every time I work in the hospital, I have to use this relic from the 1980s, a fax machine. It's because the information systems weren't designed for interoperability. And the electronic health records, they were supposed to revolutionize healthcare. Instead, they have crushed the souls of physicians. Emergency room doctors like myself make 4,000 clicks on a keyboard during a shift. The design of health records are so bad that doctors in the US blame them as one of the major factors for burning out. Everywhere I go in the hospital, I see design failures like these thermometers. The only difference between these thermometers is that the rectal probe has a red dot on top of it. In order to prevent a rectal probe from being inserted in your mouth, <laughs> nurses hack this solution with a marker. The design of healthcare spaces can be awful. In this exam room, it's impossible for a physician to make eye-to-eye -eye contact with their patient. Poor design in healthcare leads to poor experiences, both for clinicians and patients. Healthcare suffers from a lack of creativity. There's this misconception that if you're a creative type, that you're never gonna go into healthcare. You're not gonna become a doctor. You're not gonna become a nurse. I believe that making people healthier is a creative pursuit. In our forthcoming book, my co-author, Ellen Lupton, and I, we share how we can apply design in medicine. We give examples of how good design in medicine can lead to better products and services and experiences in healthcare. I started the first program in a US medical school teaching design thinking to medical students. They learn to apply their imagination and creativity in medicine. I think this helps them become better creative problem solvers. They learn to uh, brainstorm their ideas. They learn to storyboard concepts and challenge the assumptions in healthcare. They tackle the toughest problems in healthcare by design. They learn to prototype solutions like this visual checklist that might help reduce medical errors in patients with sepsis, or this redesigned urine cup that helps to collect uncontaminated urine samples from patients. Sepsis and urine, it's not as sexy as designing a beautiful museum or designing the next smartphone, but I think that making products that improve the lives of patients is just as important and more satisfying. Patients and stakeholders, they should be active participants in the design projects, not just objects of empathic care. All human beings are stakeholders in the success of healthcare. Design in healthcare needs to move beyond just designing fancy logos for organizations or designing brand identities for pharma and med tech companies. I believe that the future of medicine can incorporate designers on healthcare teams and that good design can bridge the gap in healthcare. Thank you.